Thailand has the best fruit. Seriously, it's so good. I'm going to show you the fruit you need to try when you visit Thailand. Let's eat. Today we're going to try rose apple, guava, papaya, dragon fruit, mango, tamarind, bananas, pineapple, and pomelo. And at the end, I'm gonna blend this all into a Thai fruit smoothie. Mmm. Now I'm gonna try some pomelo. In Thai, this is called som o. It's kind of like a tropical grapefruit. It's way bigger than the kind of grapefruits I'd seen before, and I actually really prefer it than a normal grapefruit. I don't have a proper pomelo to show you right now. Maybe I'll like insert a picture of one now. I got one that was pre-sliced, so I can still show you what it looks like, on the inside at least. It's kind of broken up into segments, like a grapefruit or like other citrus fruits. You can pull it apart quite easily. I'm kind of obsessed with pomelo. I go through phases where it's all I want to eat all the time, and it's really good. You can usually get it quite easily, just apparently not when I'm trying to film a video about it. I'm gonna try some now and I'll let you know what it's like. Mmm, I love pomelo. I love pomelo so, so, so much. Mmm, 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 It's just really good. It's really, really yummy. Pomelo is absolutely delicious. It's really sweet, it's really citrusy, it's a little bit sour. It's just so yummy. The taste is not quite as sweet as an orange. It's a bit more bitter. Mm. and so good. The one thing I do have to tell you, watch out for seeds. Some of the pieces have these really, really big seeds in it. Sometimes you get seeds that are like this big. It's really unpleasant when you bite into them. Mm. Best way to describe it would be like a tropical grapefruit. When I lived in New Zealand and I ate grapefruit, I used to put a little bit of sugar on it to take away the bitterness. Pomelo just doesn't need that. It's perfect. You usually come across pomelo quite a lot in Thailand, but they also do this really, really yummy spicy pomelo salad. The citrus works so well with the spiciness. You get the zap of chili and then the refreshingness of the pomelo. Perfect combination. I like this by itself as well. It's delicious. Mm. This is a dragon fruit, or as it's known in Thai, Gao Mongon. Mongon actually means dragon. So I've actually got two dragon fruits here today. They look pretty similar, but there is a little difference. One is gonna be purple and one is gonna be white. I'm pretty confident that I know which is which. I think this is the white dragon fruit. The spikes, or like the scales, the reason it's called a dragon fruit. Uh, more green and the fruit just feels kind of different and this one that I think is the purple one or the red one The spikes are less green and overall it just feels softer. I'll just have to cut into them and check Let's have a look inside the first time I cut into a purple dragon fruit My mind was absolutely blown for me. I kind of think it looks like that movie Avatar. It's just like completely surreal looking oh, I got it wrong. Oh, I was so confident as well this is a white dragon fruit, as it turns out. So you can probably see there are loads of little black seeds in there. It's kind of a bit like a chia seed, like it gives a little crunch as you bite into it. And this is another thing I think tastes so good when it's in the fridge. It's just so refreshing and so good. I just wanna show you what this other one looks like, or maybe I'm gonna edit this footage to look like I was right the whole time. I don't know. Okay, I think this is the red one. Whoa! Oh, always so cool. Like I'll never get over that. Just look at that color. It doesn't even look real. Just check it out. The juice is just coming off there and mm, it's really sweet. It's really good. I love dragon fruit. It's one of my favorites. So to eat a dragon fruit, all you need is a spoon. I just dip in like I was eating a bowl of ice cream and it goes through so easily. Like it's just so soft. So dragon fruit kind of tastes like not a lot to be honest. Like white dragon fruits don't have a lot of flavor. I can't stress that enough. There's not a lot of flavor. It's a really good texture, but not a lot of taste. The purple ones, I think, are way more sweet, and way more yummy. Oh, the purple ones are way better. So last bite, we'll move on. Mm. Okay, purple dragon fruit. I'm gonna try it, but let's just have a moment's appreciation for just how beautiful this is. Like, look at the color. Mm. I love you, purple dragon fruit. So again, the spoon goes in really easily. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. Mm. Yep, that's really good. It's just so sweet compared to the white one, which I do like. This is just way sweeter. It's so juicy as well. Like, I think a bit just dripped off the spoon as well. Mm. Word of warning though, these are super messy. Like, if you get a little bit on your clothes, it'll stain. Kind of worth the risk. 
It's really good. And one other really cool thing about it, it makes your tongue go kind of purpley red. So now I'm gonna try some guava. In Thai, this is called falang. You've probably heard the word falang before. It means foreigner. A guava looks kind of like a cross between a pear and an apple. It's like a pear color, but it's round like an apple. They're really crispy, really juicy, and I really like them. You should totally try a guava. They're great. I'm gonna cut into it now. When I cut guava, I just kind of do it like I cut an apple. Ooh, that sounds really crispy when I cut into it. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's white and if you look really, really closely, it has like these little kind of, they're kind of like seeds. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. My fingers are getting so sticky just touching it. Mm, super crisp, super crunchy. That's a nice guava. So it might look a little bit like an apple or a pear, but it really doesn't taste like one. They're a little bit more sour. You've got the sweetness, but you've got the sourness as well. And it's a really nice combination. You can really hear it like when you first bite into it. It's like the most satisfying apple biting sound. Like mm. the skin of a guava is a bit more thick than an apple. Like you have to really sink your teeth into it. Oh, that bit was really sweet. But around the edges, it's a little bit more bitter, but in the middle, kind of more sweet. And sometimes it's a bit more gooey, like depending on how ripe the guava is as well. Mm. Guava are really easy to find in Thailand. A lot of fruit vendors sell them and they often pair them with this little pottle full of like a sugar and chili mix. Like it's really good, it's a nice mix, but I just prefer a guava by itself. Like just me personally, I love fruit and this is so good. It's for me, it's perfect the way it is. It's really yummy. Let's try some rose apple. In Thai, this is called champu. The name might sound a little bit familiar to you, and that's because si champu actually means the color pink. We'd never actually seen rose apple until we moved to Thailand, but it's really, really good. It's something you totally need to try when you come here. I'm gonna cut into it now and show you exactly what it looks like on the inside. So it looks a little bit like an apple. Just through here, you've got a core, just like a normal apple, but it's kind of more fleshy, or at least I think so. Okay, I'm gonna try some now. Mm. That's so good. It's really sweet and really crisp, just like, you know, like a normal apple, but it's kind of more watery. The best way to describe it is if you had a normal red apple and you soaked it in water for a while, kind of like a rose apple. Really crisp, really yummy, but Kind of watery, really good though. Honestly, having one of these on like a hot, hot day in Bangkok is just like the best thing ever. They're just so refreshing. And the other cool thing is you can find them with most fruit vendors. They're really easy to find everywhere and they're just so yummy and so refreshing. You've got to try them, they're so good. Mm. I feel like it's one of the most underrated fruits here. It's really nice. Mm. Really good. Now let's try some mango, or as it's called in Thai, mamua. Mangoes are like my favorite fruit in Thailand. Seriously, they're just so, so good. There are so many different varieties here. Some people really like the green mangoes, which are way more sour. You usually dip those in like a mix of chili and sugar. Sounds a bit unusual, but it's really good, trust me. But my favorite are yellow mangoes. I just think nothing beats a really, really ripe, delicious yellow mango. And my favorite variety is called Nam Dok Mai. They're just so sweet. I've got a Nam Dok Mai mango here today. I'm gonna cut into the mango now and I'm so excited about it. It looks like a really, really good one. I know there are loads of different ways to cut mangoes, but this is my favorite way to cut them. It's just really easy to eat them this way. So I like to cut the sides off first like this. Oh. And look at that, seriously. How good does that look? You can like see the juice running off. <sighs> the color is just so good. Oh, nothing beats a perfectly ripe mango. Oh, that looks so good. So now we've cut the sides off, it's time for the next step. You use your knife and you simply cut a few lines down it, this way and then the other way. The really cool thing about that is you just turn it inside out and Check it out, it's so cool. And then it's just really easy to eat. Mm, that is so good. Mm, I am absolutely covered in juice right now, but what a good mango. Mm, seriously, I've picked a really, really good one. This is so juicy. And just look how easy it is to eat. You break it off and it's just in these little cubes. You can just, mm. I can't even imagine how many mangoes I've eaten since I've lived in Thailand. I'm just obsessed with them. Right now it's mango season and I just kind of go mad for it. So I've got three mangoes here. I literally have probably about eight more in the fridge. I'm just obsessed with them. I'm always really excited for like March and April to roll around because it's mango season. It's the best season. They're just like unlimited. You can find them everywhere and mm, they're just so good. Seriously, my hands are so sticky right now. Mm. That's delicious. It's just so sweet. 
I'm so juicy. I don't know if you can tell, but I've got juice running all down my fingers. Mm. It's just everywhere and so good. I can't get enough of mangoes. They're just really sweet. Mm. It's hard to even talk. I just want to keep eating it. It's really, really sweet. It's really juicy. It almost melts in your mouth. Mm. So now I'm dock my mangoes, like this one, are what I usually use in mango sticky rice. And if you've had that before, you know that it's really, really good. So these mangoes are obviously amazing. Mm. It's just so sweet, so delicious, and something you really need to try when you're in Thailand. Mm. And for the seed, I just cut off the skin, and it pulls off really easily. That's another great thing about mangoes. They're just really, really easy to eat. You've got the seed in there, and you just eat around it. like. It's really good. I always think it's kind of like a giant, like tropical ice block or something. Especially if you put it in the fridge. That's another tip of mine, like a cold mango. Mm. When it's a really hot day in Thailand, cold mango. You just can't beat it. It's really good. They're so good. They're so, 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 so good. Okay, let's try some tamarind. In Thai, this is called Ma Kam. It's one of the ingredients that goes into Pad Thai, and I love it in that, but let's see what it's like just eating it like a fruit. It's really hard, like this, this outer layer, it's quite hard, like a dried bean kind of, and when I shake it, you can hear something shaking inside. So let's crack into it and see what's in there. Whoa, not what I expected. It's really sticky. Oh, it looks so sweet. And I know that you have to watch out for the seeds inside. They're really, really hard. I'm just gonna pull that out now. Oh yeah, that's a great big seed. I'm glad I didn't bite into it. Okay, let's see what it's like. Wow, that's really good. It's really sweet. It kind of reminds me of a date. Like it's really, really sticky and sweet. You can see it all stuck to my finger. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. So apparently like when tamarind is fresh, it's way more sour and that's what's normally used for cooking. But when it's left to sit and dry, it goes so super sweet on the inside. Mm. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of a date or maybe a fig. Oh, that's so nice. This is another thing that's like really easy to find in Thailand. You see them for sale quite a lot in markets and things. Delicious. I really want to eat this last bit, but I'm going to save it to put in that smoothie I'll make at the end. I also wanted to show you these Thai bananas. In Thai, gluai means banana. So I'm not actually going to try these today. You can probably tell why. They're green. They're not going to taste very good. I'm not really a fan of green bananas. So the thing that's really different about these bananas is they're way smaller than the bananas you might get back home. They're also really fat and the taste is really different. I find these are usually a bit more hard and a bit more firm and they're just not quite as sweet as like your classic banana. But they really good. I really love the bananas you get here. And you know that they're fresh from the tree. Like you literally see banana trees all over Thailand, whether you're going down the road and seeing one growing up against a fence or like a proper plantation. They're everywhere and I fully recommend them when they're yellow. Now let's try some papaya, or as it's known in Thai, malako. You've probably seen papaya before, and this one is like really weirdly huge. I've also got some here that I bought pre-sliced in case I didn't do the best job with this. One thing I really love about living here is you see papaya growing kind of everywhere. When we lived in Udon Thani, we randomly grew a papaya plant of our own. When we looked out the kitchen window one day, we saw this really, really little plant. It kept growing and growing and growing over the next year, and it got to about my height. It didn't grow any papaya, but it was pretty cool just to see how high it grew. Sometimes you see these absolutely massive ones, like meters and meters tall, and the papayas are right there at the top. I don't know how long this one took to grow, but it's really huge, and it's pretty heavy as well. Let's cut into it. I've actually never cut one of these myself before. I usually buy them pre-sliced, but oh, the knife is gliding in super easily. Whoa. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Wow, that's so beautiful. Look at that, like, mm, ooh, it's so juicy. Mm, absolutely delicious. So one of the things about papayas is they're meant to be really, really good for you. Like amazing for your skin, full of antioxidants. I'm just gonna dip my spoon in here. Oh, it's so soft. Wow, that's a really good papaya. It's really creamy, it's really sweet. You might have tried somtam if you've been to Thailand before, and it's kind of crazy to know that that's made of papaya as well. I'm right papaya, but it's kind of hard to comprehend that this is what goes in somtam. You know, it's a weird, weird thought. I think this is like the sweetest papaya I've ever had in my life. It's just so nice. I just can't get over these seeds, like right there in the middle. There are so many. I don't know why I just tried eating a seed. Ugh, I just wanted to see what it was like. Spoiler, it's really not good. Let's try some pineapple. In Thai, this is called sapora. 
And this one's really, really spiky. In my opinion, Thailand has some of the best pineapples. There are loads of varieties here, but the ones I really like come from Phuket. I've got this pineapple, which is uncut, and I decided to also get some pre-cut pineapple. One of my favorite things about pineapple here is you don't have to eat it just by itself. They also do kalpad saparot, which is pineapple fried rice. Trust me, it's just really, really yummy. Really yummy. The reason I got this pre-sliced is it's way more beautiful than I can cut. It just looks so mouth-watering, right? And it's a Phuket pineapple. I know it's gonna be really, really sweet. Let's see what it's like. Mm. Wow, that is sweet, that is juicy, and that's everything I look for in a pineapple. It has that real sharpness that a pineapple has, you know? Like, it just cuts through. It's just so super juicy. My fingers are absolutely dripping. This is like the perfect thing to like eat at a beat, you know, on a really hot day. And most days here are really hot. It's so refreshing. It almost melts in your mouth. I don't know if you can hear the sound, but... That's so good. They're just so different from pineapples you get overseas. They're just way more juicy. Mm. They just absolutely fill your mouth with juice. That's so yummy. Ever get the opportunity to try a Thai pineapple? You just need to go for it. Mm. They're so good. And the other great thing is you can get them almost everywhere. Most fruit sellers have them. They cut them so they're so much easier to eat. Like you don't have to worry about spiking yourself on the pineapple. It's just really easy to eat. Got no excuse. They're so yummy. Now I'm gonna blend all the fruit together and make a smoothie. I think this is gonna taste so good. I've already got a little bit of water in here and now I'm gonna add some ice. Okay, let's add some mango. Mm, little bit of dragon fruit, purple dragon fruit, guava, pomelo, bit of pineapple, rose apple, tamarind, and some papaya. That's a bit much, so I'm just gonna cut that a bit. Okay, we just need to blend it all up. Whoa, the color's so nice. It's so pinky purple. Look at that. I think some splashed me in the head. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. Wow, that's a lot of flavors. It's really good, actually. I'm trying to pick like what I can taste coming through. I can taste the mango, I can taste the pineapple, and it's sweet, it's delicious. So if you get your hands on lots of Thai fruit, try chucking it in a blender and mixing it together. It's delicious. You might have noticed I didn't try any durian, mangosteen, or rambutan today. Let me know if you want me to try those next, and I'll give it a go, and I'll catch you in the next one.